Hello everyone! Today we are on our week 8 for our second quarter. Our topic is applications of mirrors and lenses in optical instruments. In your previous lesson, we have learned about the qualitative characteristics of images formed by plane, curved mirrors, and lenses. In this lesson, you are going to study the different ways in which the properties of mirrors and lenses determine their use in optical instruments. When you look into a mirror, you see images of yourself and the objects nearby. If the surface of the mirror is flat, the images look just like those in the real world except to the right and left reverse. This type of mirror is called plane mirror. On the other hand, if the surface of the mirror is curved, the images can be larger or smaller than life size or even upside down. This type of mirrors is called curved mirrors. In general, mirrors are objects that are good at reflecting light waves. Mirrors are part of our everyday life. We regularly use plain mirror in checking our physical appearance every morning before we leave our homes. There are mirrors found in our vehicles. While driving, we use different shaped mirrors to check on the position of vehicles on the next lane. There is also a type of curved mirrors called the convex mirrors. Convex mirrors are used for safety and security purposes, suitable for outdoor and indoor use in shops to prevent theft. This type of mirrors can also be placed in locations where vehicles are risked for conflicts from blind corn corners and generally in places with limited visibility. Curved mirrors or concave mirrors are used in optical instruments, such as the ophthalmoscope. This instrument consists of a concave mirror with a hole in the center. The doctor that uses ophthalmoscope is called ophthalmologist. The doctor focuses through the small hole from behind the concave mirror while a light beam is directed into the pupil of the patient's eye. This makes the retina visible and makes it easy for doctors to check. Lenses are also essential in our daily lives. We are able to see because of our eyes as a lens that produces an image. In fact, all optical devices are part of our everyday life. Many people use eyeglasses while doing their activities. Likewise, magnifying glasses or lenses, cameras, microscope, and telescopes are important instruments used for specific purposes. Images are formed when using this device following the laws of reflection and refraction. Just like how the images are formed in our eyes, the camera is also a simple application of a lens. The basic element of a camera is a double convex lens that forms a, a real upside-down image on an optical sensor, usually a charge-coupled device or CCD in a digital camera. To focus a camera, lenses move either toward or away from the optical sensor. The lenses move toward the CCD to focus on a distant object or away from the CCD to focus to close objects. The distances involved in moving the lens back and forth in a camera are typically small. Although a magnifying glass is a useful instrument, a higher magnification and improved optical quality can be obtained in using a microscope. The basic optical elements of a microscope are the objective lens and the eyepiece lens. The objective lens is a converging lens with a relatively short focal length that is placed near the object to be viewed. It forms a real upside down and enlarged image of the object. To focus the microscope, the precise location of this image is suggested by moving the tube containing the eyepiece lens and the objective lens up or down. The image formed by the objective lens serves as the object of the second lens of the microscope, which is the eyepiece. Meanwhile, a refracting telescope is similar in many ways to a microscope. Both optical instruments use two converging lenses to produce a magnified image of an object. In the case of microscope, the object is small and close at hand. However, in the case of telescope, the object is large but its apparent size can be very small because of its great distance. The major difference between this instrument is that the telescope must deal with an object that is essentially infinitely far away. A radar, 
A radial ramp is a representation of the possible paths a light can take to get from one place to another. This is often from a source or object to an observer or screen. In situations involving two or more lenses, the image formed from one of its components can act as the object for another one. This is true in the case of a refracting telescope. A refracting telescope is consists of two convex lenses that is used to enlarge an image. The refracting telescope has a large primary lens with a long focal length to gather a lot of light. The lenses of refracting telescope share a focal point. This ensures that parallel rays entering the telescope are again parallel when they reach your eye. Another type of telescope used mirrors as well as lenses are called reflecting telescope. A reflecting telescope uses a convex lens and two mirrors to make an object appear bigger. The light is collected by the large concave mirror, then the parallel rays traveling toward the mirrors are reflected and focused to a certain point. The secondary plane mirror is placed within the focal length of the primary concave mirror. This changes the direction of the light. A final eyepiece lens diverges the rays so that they are parallel when they reach your eye. For your learning task 1, in terms of image formation, optical instruments follow the basic principles of reflection and refraction. Study and analyze the names of the given devices inside the box. Classify the optical devices based on the principle that they obey in terms of image formation. For your learning task 2, identify the type of optical image, either real or virtual image, formed using the following optical instruments. For your learning task 3, applying what you learned about diagramming, draw a label 3 diagram of a refracting telescope. Show the images formed by the two lenses. For your learning task 4, read and answer the following questions. Use illustrations to further support your answers. And that will be all for today. God bless and have a nice day.